Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of TechMeet.com. Today we are going to continue with one of our lessons and we are going to be looking at how to use AutoFS to mount NFS shares in Linux. In one of our previous lessons we have talked about um, configuring NFS in Linux. So we have looked at how to configure NFS server. All right. So we've looked at the step-by-step -step process of how to do this. We've also looked at how to configure NFS client, all right? And um, we've ascertained the fact that we can make NFS shares persistent with the use of um, FS tab file. So in this lesson, we're going to look at how to mount or make NFS shares persistent uh, with the use of auto FS service. If you're the type that always configures NFS services, you must have noticed this because it has happened to me many times whereby um, when I have the reason to reboot the NFS client, you will just notice that um, during, the, during the reboot process, the server doesn't boot to the full operating system. It just stops at maintenance mode. And when you check the reason behind this, you will notice that uh, one of the entries in the FS tab file is not referencing the NFS server. And um, that's because the NFS server is down. All right, but with the use of an auto mount like an um, auto FS service, all this um, kind of problem has been eradicated. All right, so um, you can actually make the NFS shares persistent in Linux without putting an entry in the FS tab file, and that is why um, auto mount or auto FS has a better performance compared to using the FS tab file. All you need to do is just to install the auto FS service. All right, after installing the AutoFS service and you configure the AutoFS service by creating a master map file in the AutoFS service, one of the AutoFS service um, configuration file, and then you create a map file, all right? And after which you then start and enable AutoFS service. And when you do this, you, um, anyone that needs, uh, or any user that needs the, the NFS share, all right, um, the AutoFS service knows how to, you know, present the NFS share to such a particular user. And the good thing is that it will be on demand. Like it has been written here that NFS shares automatically can automatically be mounted on the client whenever it is required and be unmounted whenever it is inactive. So um, this is um, automatic. It just, AutoFS just knows how to do this automatically. And one thing I also need to mention is that when configuring auto mount, of course, we would need to uh, make use of one of the um, AutoFS configuration files, which is um, etc slash auto.master. But what I'm going to advise you is that um, it is better you create a drop-in file and not putting your parameters in this, um, in this same um, configuration file because when there is an update you all know that sometimes okay fine if you don't know <laughs> um, if there is an update um, on a service it is possible not all the time but it is um, possible that the files in the, con the configuration files may be overwritten and that is why it is um, always recommended that you create a drop-in file and even when you look at this configuration file you can see this line which says include here so it means you can create your drop-in file in this directory, which is the etc auto.master.d slash. But um, the file that you're going to be creating would have a name that must end with an extension of dot auto fs. All right. So this is the format of um, what is going to be in the file. All right, which is the master map file, and this is the format of what is going to be in the um, map file. All right. So the master map file. We reference the map file or the map file we, rep we reference the master map file as the case may be so having understood um, all of this let's see the step-by-step -step guide of how to um, auto mount nfs share in linux and we're going to use this example to do that so in the next class um, i'm going to show you the step-by-step -step guide so thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel bye for now